Okay, good day to all of you. So in this video, we're going to study about the two main princi uh, principal operations of stack, which is the push and pop. So uh, before we start, uh, our lesson is just limited to um, studying how does the push and pop work. So push is we're adding values to the stack while pop is removing values inside or from the stack. And this, um, uh, this video has limitations such as, um, for my example, for my two examples, uh, I did not put, it's not a bounded uh, buffer or I don't have the maximum number of elements. And also, um, I, I do not uh, illustrate here that, for example, if you're going to pop or remove a value from the stack, from an empty stack. So actually in computing, so, for example, if you're going to put values to a stack which is already full, it should have a notification or an exception that telling the user that you cannot add any more items because the stack is already full. And at the same time, if you're going to remove a value from an empty stack, it should have an error or a notification from the user that you cannot remove values because it is an empty stack. So again, uh, my examples here are all about the basic, uh, the operations of the push and pop. So again, push is uh, putting, uh, putting values or adding values inside the stack while the pop is removing values from the stack. So stack is an ab abstract data type and it has this LIFO approach. LIFO means last in, first out. If you're going to add value or push, you're going to add it at the top most of the stack. And if you're going to remove a value, which is the operation pop, you're going to remove the uh, value that you recently added in. So that's why last in, first out. So in a real world example, for example, if you have a stack of plates, uh, if you want to add a plate, are you going to struggle to add the plate at the bottom or are you going to add it at the top of the stack of, play, of plates? Of course, you're going to add it on the, uh, on the topmost uh, of the stack of the plates. And if you're going to get a plate, are you again going to struggle to remove or get the plate under? Do you want the plates to uh, get broken? So if you want to remove, you're just going to get or remove the plate at the topmost of the stack. So uh, this presentation, I personally made it so that uh, you can understand the push and pop operations in a stack as an abstract data type in computing. So we have two examples. So our classic example is we're going to stack numbers. So stack example one. So we have nine operations or nine steps. Okay, number one is create an empty stack. Of course, before you're going to um, have a stack, you should have an empty stack. So this is the empty stack. Next operation is push one. Of course, push is you're going to add one inside or to the stack. So push one. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, step three is push seven. Again, add seven to the stack. Okay, that is seven. Okay, next step is we have pop. Okay, pop. What are we going to remove? Are we going to remove number one or number seven? As I've already uh, previously discussed, pop is you're going to remove the topmost value. So you're going to remove number seven. Okay. Next step is we have push number five. Okay. So since already seven is already gone, and then we're going to add number five. Okay. So that's it. Number five. And the next step is we have push number nine. Okay, so we're going to add number 9. Okay, next is, next up, next step is push number 3. Okay, so, so that's why it's called a stack. Okay, and then next step is you're going to pop again, which of the values you're going to pop. Of course, it's always the 
topmost value, which is the last in. So that's why it's called LIFO, last in, first out. So if we're going to execute the pop operation, so it will remove number three. And then again, the last step for um, this example is also a pop operation. So after removing three, the topmost is already nine. So you're going to remove nine. Okay, then we have already um, executed every uh, all the steps. So the values that is left on uh, inside the stack is 1 and 5. So this is a stack example. So by using numbers. So let's just have a little twist to make our stack more interesting. Um, I know numbers so bo boring. Why not? Let's have uh, be creative. Let's have uh, a stack example which we put names okay so we have the second example okay the second example is um let me indulge for my fangirling so because I, I personally made this stack so i'm i'm the one who's in command of which i'm going to put so example two is um actually this is a korean boy group gravity so it's a nine member group uh, but in the example, you only uh, can see six names. As much as I want to include all of them, but of course, um, it will make the text smaller. So I just uh, uh, chose six. So gravity is the only boy group that I um, that I stand. The term for the K-pop uh, group for liking, and then um, they, uh, they actually their rookies. They only started last. April 14, 2020. I just discovered them last September and I became an official member of their fandom, which is Lovity. Okay, so much for that. So let's go with our example number two. So again, we have create an empty stack again. And then the next step is push Songmin. Okay, Songmin is the mangme of the group, the youngest. Okay, push, put, uh, song mean inside the stack. Okay. So we have song mean. Okay. Next operation, unfortunately, is pop. So meaning we're going to remove song mean from the stack. Okay. So again, after uh, pop operation is executed for step number three, the stack, the stack is again empty. Next is we have Push Taeyong. Okay. So Taeyong is, uh, he said he's the most, uh, most funniest member of the group. Okay. And after push Taeyong operation, is next step is we have push Hyongjun. Okay. So Hyongjun is the vitamin of the group as he described himself. And then next is after push Hyongjun is we have push Serim. Okay. Okay. Serim is the leader and the strongest of the group. Uh, from Of the group. Okay. The group members. Okay. The leader. And of course, since he's the leader, so he's the oldest. Okay. So next is operation is pop. Of course, we're going to remove Serim from the stack. Okay, we have next operation, we have push Jungmo. Okay, so Jungmo actually is my second second bias. Um, actually, I really like him because um, he's left-handed and also he's, he's born uh, just like me uh, in February. Okay, and after pushing Jungmo inside the stack, we have the operation we have Pop. So, I'm sorry, Jumo, you have to be removed from the stock. Okay. And then last but not the least is we have Push Mini. Okay. Okay, Mini. Uh, I said Jumo is my second uh, bias. Actually, this uh, Mini, Kang Mini is my ultimate bias. If, you're, if you, uh, you see my wallpaper in Chapter 3 Processes, He's the one. He's actually so. That's all. That's all him with the white hair, with the black hair. Um, he's the tallest of the group. Um, he's roughly six foot and one inch, and his nickname is Mini. Very contradicting with his height. And um, I really like him, of course. 
So, we've already finished with um, stack example number two. So, you've done all the steps. So, the, the values inside the stack after step number 10 is we have Taeyong, Hyongjun, and Minnie. Okay, so I hope that you learned something from this um, tutorial, from this video, all about the stack operations. Again, um, this video is just limited for the push and pop operations, and uh, it, 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 does, it does not have the scope of, for example, if you're going to add a value of the stack, which is the stack is already full, and if you're going to pop or remove a value from the stack, which is empty. So this uh, video is for the purpose of at least understanding the two main princip uh, principal operations of the stack, which is the push and pop. So if you do have any questions, so please feel free to comment below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and good day.